Hello guys, today we are going to create a custom block programmatically for Drupal 10. As a requirement, we should already have a custom model or we can create it now. In the models directory, we are creating custom folder, which will contain all of the custom models. And here we can place another folder for our custom model. We should name it with the ID of model. I will call it example block. Inside this, we have to create the only required file for models. It is info.yaml file. We have to write our model ID, which is example block dot info dot yaml. Info yaml file is an essential part of Drupal 9.10 model. It is required to notify Drupal about the existence of a model or a fem. Now let's fill this file. We have a name which is required k. This is name of our model which will be shown in the administration UI. We have also description k which will also will be shown in the administration UI. Package is used to group the models. I will write custom and will group my custom models. We need to also specify what we are creating. This is module. We are writing that type is model. It can be also fem or profile. And also we need to specify the core version requirement. This is showing that our model with which version of Drupal is compatible. The, our model is compatible with versions Drupal 9 and 10. Okay, we just successfully created the info YAML file and now we can enable it. Open our website and open page extent. Now we can search here with the name that we provide in the info YAML file. We can see here custom, which is package for grouping models. We have a name and description. To enable the model, click to the checkbox and install. We can see that our model is successfully enabled. Now we are ready to create a custom block. Open the code editor and inside model folder create the same folder structure as me. It will be source plugin. and block. Plugin folder is storing all of the Drupal plugins and block, especially block plugins. Inside block, we can create all of our custom blocks. So now we can create the PHP file. I will call it example block.php. We have to use a namespace with the, this format. It should start with the Drupal after it should get the model machine name, which is example block. And also it should follow the folder structure. We should ignore the source and write this ones. So it will be plugin and block. We should also use the class block base because our class will extend from block base class. Block base class is in the core, so we have to write Drupal core Most of the plugins, including blocks, use annotations to register themselves and describe their metadata. So we have to create annotations for block too. Here we have ID, which is our custom block ID. 
admin label and category. These two metadata will be shown in the administration UI. Class should be the same name as our file name, so it will be example block. It should extend from block base class. And also for example block, we have one required function, which is build function. Build function should return render array. Let's return some simple renderer array. And ready. Now we can clear the cache and place block in the block layout. Open the project, configuration, performance, and click to the clear all caches. Cache is cleared, now we can go to the structure, block layout, and we can place it for example in the header. Click to the place block, and we can find our block by using this filter. We, we should use here the name that we are provided here, with the admin label. So I am copying it, and here writing example block. So we have example block, which category is custom blocks. This is the metadata that we write in the annotation. And just click to the place block. We see that something went wrong. Let's check what's wrong in the reports. Open reports in the new tab and click to the recent log messages. We see that we have some syntax error in example block.php. Let's check it. I forgot to add semicolon here and I think the problem is here. Let's now try again. Click to the place block and place. Okay, now we see that it works. Sometimes you can have these error messages. You have to open reports and recent log messages. You will see more describe the error message and it will be easy to debug. I don't want to show the title and I will place it for all of the pages. Click to the save block and now we can go to the front page. As we can see here, hello world, this is my first block. We just successfully created a simple block for our website. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to this channel.